Ah, push it. Mm. Push, push it real good. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Flea D. D the flea. Flea, Spanish flea, and all that shit. Today, I bring you Harold Chipman, the Krogan Warlord Sentinel. Uh, by now, if you're not getting the, uh, the vibe, all of my characters are named after serial killers or pedophiles that I don't particularly like. Yeah. Pope. Uh. I'm a massive fan of this character. I don't know why. There's just something about it I just don't really like. Don't get me wrong, he's got potency to him and uh, he has got potential for plenty of platinum build. The build that I'm giving you today is just your, uh, your generic bronze, silver, gold. I've not run through him on platinum, so I don't really know... Uh, you know what's good what's not because like I say there's, there's just something I don't know what it is but yeah he's a bit of a dick look at his face you've got the face of a dick pal alright onto the powers stupid ugly mug tech armor I guess this I think this is why I don't like him I don't like tech armor because it's, it's shit yeah so durability because you're gonna you're gonna want to keep yourself alive melee damage because that hammer is a good time and durability again, because that's basically it. Is and people who use that shit to blow up, I don't really understand it. But yeah, me. Okay, we're gonna want the biotic hammer. I'm gonna fill this biotic hammer up. Biotic hammer is good for ripping shields. In fact, hang on. What does it say there? Charge your hammer with biotic energy, drastically increasing direct damage and force. Your melee attacks will expend these charges. Highly effective against armor and barriers. Well, if this is highly effective against armor and barriers, then why do we need the other one? Hmm. Anyway, fuck it. Damage and force. And then... Armor damage. And you could go by a combo if you wanted. But, to be honest, you, you're just going to want to kill things. Because you're so close to stuff, you're just going to want it to like, die. Bam! Die, fucker! And you want the uh, the charges, second charge to come in. So you can hit the bastard and then hit the bastard again. That's, all, that's tempted to get the increased force of impacts by 100. And you can go through armor and shields and barriers and all that bollocks. But trust me, you want that second hit. Because one hit for 1125 damage is nice. But when you take it up to 2250, you know what I mean? Do the math, motherfucker. Onto the electrical hammer, where again, we're going to go 1, 2, 3. Oh, I forgot to read the description, didn't I? <laughs> Charge our hammer with electric energy, making all hammer impacts do electrical damage in a large area while stunning enemies. Your melee attacks will expend these charges, highly effective against shields and barriers. Meow, 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 meow. <sighs> so we want to kid it out for the shields and the barriers. And the barriers. Here we can put fire and chill on. Fire's nice because, you know, burning shit is good. But chill is better. Because it slows people down. It increases all damage done to them by 20. See, that there's good if you're, uh, if you're on bronze and silver on your own. You know, you're not part of a pack. If there's like four dudes on and you don't know any of them, that's all nice because then you can just run out and score tons of points and look dead good. This helps your team. Yes, it does. Team. That's what it's all about. And again, number of charges. Again, that's nice, but I prefer that one. Tech detonations, very good, but I prefer that one because you've got four charges, which is really good. Okay, Krogan Warlord, we're going to skip. Yeah, we are. We're going to skip. I know crazy but for this purpose of this build we are skipping it okay we're going to want durability because we need some health this one though we're going to want martial artist because your uh, your damage for 75 percent 30 seconds after an enemy is killed by a heavy melee when you twat someone with a hammer proper hard your damage is going up and then you can get twatting again with the hammer but for the last one we want the uh the health i know i, I like that as well but i'm gonna have to go health just for this krogan because he is a, a bit of a penis. Yeah, he is. Okay, for weapons. The important thing about the weapons with this dude is to keep the cooldown bonus above 90%. And choose a weapon with the highest melee bonus. So... So, ideally, you would want to use something like the Geth Plasma Shotgun, which is nice, because it's just good shit, isn't it? It's all the Krogan Wallard's abilities are based within a melee range, 
So it's a good idea to carry something that you can hit a little bit further. Because when they come close to you, you can smash their faces in with a hammer. But you have to get close to them first. So if you've got this bad boy on charge, you can hit them with it and then rush them and then boom, boom, boom. Take this motherfucker, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> if you don't have the uh, the Omni Blade level 5, uh, sorry, not level 5, the Shotgun Blade level 5, then it's probably best going for an assault rifle and substituting the uh, the blade for the shotgun's version, the Omni Blade or whatever. So yeah, unless of course it's uh, it stays under stay, stays about 100%. I'm gonna let me just check. Uh, Where's it go to? Fucking 50. Yeah, stick out your ass. Get a blade on there. So yeah, uh, let's go and have a look at uh, what's a good one for him. Believe it or not, the Typhoon's pretty good for him, but pff, yeah. Not having it, motherfucker. Um, there you go, the Lancer. The Lancer would work well. So uh, yeah, give him some more bullets, because it's rechargeable bullets. Because the Lancer's just boss. There you go, look at that, 110. That'd work well, because you could stagger him with that, and then rush in, and bonk, have a hammer. Hammer time, baby. Boom, 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 boom. Because <laughs> it's just top. There's only one thing that you can take with this character. Well, there's only one thing that you can take with most of them, and that's the Juggernaut Shield. Juggernaut Shield does, should just be called the Krogan Shield, because it's what I take with all my Krogans, especially my Vanguard. Vanguard uh, Krogan. The King of Krogans. Yeah, and that's that's it. The, uh, the way you play this guy is by just getting in there and getting involved, smashing heads. Yeah. I, uh, I hope you get to rush and smash some teeth in. But yeah, there you go. It'd be nice to uh, nice to throw on some phasic rounds maybe with him. Just a suggestion. Other than that though, he's he's ready to go. He's straight out of the box there, ready to go and beat some gold. Silver, bronze, whatever. Just platinum, be careful, because I'm not sure how well it'd work. Because like I say, I haven't tried them yet. Okay, uh, kisses on all your pink parts. Word to your mother. <laughs>